All right, I'm going to show you uh, progress we've made in our VR game the last couple of weeks. So as you can see, this is a model that was created by uh, one of our students, Noah McKecker. And um, this is a, uh, a decal that we've uh, learned how to develop. Uh, uh, Sebastian Ismail did that. And well, he showed me how to do it and I did this one. So that's kind of how it works kind of helping each other out so as you can see we just created an open world out there and um, now one of the things I want to show you is in in this uh, version we this is our custom version of a movement controller so it's not the one that comes with the the, uh, the editor it's the one that we created just show you quickly how that works so pull the trigger and there it is and then using the faceplate I can move around so what I'm going to do is do a quick tour of the school with this current model so as you can see this is our gym and you know it's uh, based on a real map we use the map uh, on a 2d plane and then we developed it uh, on a 3d plane I'm just going to turn around here and um, here's a button that I developed with one of my former students and Spencer Roger former student name was uh, um, Will Morris so it actually is interactable but right now I'm just going to do a quick tour of the school so this is the staff room I go quickly in it and you can see we added a few the furniture and all that's easy to do uh, we're gonna do that later that's the easy part getting the map to work uh, the right way is is probably well in there you see we just got our first witch so give me a second I'm gonna get back into the school all right so so a lot of that going around which is uh, just trying different things and I just basically pl click on the faceplate there's the office uh, you'll notice there's no windows because it was a lot of extra problems with uh, transparent materials in the VR environment things that we are kind of learning about here's uh, room 116 you can step in here um, we have learned how to make doors but uh, they're kind of complicated in VR so we're not sure if we're gonna actually put them in um, I'll make another video maybe on the door. So here's the main lobby of our school. You have the, with the washrooms there, cafeteria, the door outside. And we're not going to show all the rooms, but everything's been done. So this is uh, my room, my Comtech room. Give me a second as I go around here. And as you can see, we added these extra meshes in to make it look as real as possible. The doors are always bigger. Uh, but one of the problems is it's, it's hard to go through doors uh, in VR if you don't have bigger than the proportions. So anyways, that's our, uh, been a, quite a lot of work in here. It may not show, but uh, just learning how this works and how to build things. Um, the school was built in Maya. We also used uh, uh, meshes and so on in Unreal Engine to uh, build it and the goal is to make it look as real as possible um, and we're going to try to build game elements into this which is a, another challenge a lot of students have been working hard on that uh, Sid, um, Otterman, uh, Spencer, uh, OJ uh, we have Spencer uh, Greg who's also created music which I didn't put into this demo but you can see and I want to just show this because this is the first interactable I built from scratch. In other words, I didn't get it uh, from somebody else. So what you do is I basically take, you see the grips here on, the, and I, I grab it and I can interact with it. So we're still learning all these kind of things. And we actually have a meeting tomorrow uh, to talk about our, our progress uh, as we've been working throughout the uh, COVID-19 break. If you have any questions, please feel free to uh, Write some comments below. Thank you.